Hello everyone, welcome to the Seattle Light of Love. Uh, how are you doing, Krista? I'm good. Today we're going to try out the Pacific End Pub here in Fremont. Uh, Anthony Bourdain is going to have a show based off of their fish and chips later this month. So we're going to do a before and after. Um, are you ready? I'm ready too. Mmm, nom 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 nom. I like, kind of like this place. I like the hole in the wall nature. Mm -hmm. It's cozy. And there's three football games on at once. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they're all like people that the Seahawks are going to be playing soon. Well, two of them are uh, upcoming opponents of the Seahawks, so it's interesting because the Seahawks game isn't on until one. But mm -hmm. it's interesting to. Uh, it's, it's just, I mean, it's just like, oh, 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 okay, oh, what's, it's, it's like, I can't, I don't have no idea what's going on in any of them except for the score because it's too much. It's so Whatever. So you got the salmon salad? Yeah. I went pesto. With pesto? Yeah. I've never had a salmon salad with pesto. I don't think I have either. Mmm. All the anticipation. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. the tartar sauce. I'm trying to avoid the bread egg. I think that's the best part of fish and chips. That's good. It's really good, right? <clears throat> mm. Can I try your salmon? You, you don't like salmon. I know, I'm going to try it anyway. Do you want some salad? Yeah. I still don't like salmon. <laughs> You're like brave. That was And we're back. Yeah, and we're back. That was <laughs> actually really good. Well, I feel a lot better now that I had some coffee because it's a cold, rainy day and the But yeah, uh, you enjoyed your salad. It was alright. I mean it was it was definitely a di dive bar food. It was uh, a lot of dressing, plastic fork. Um, probably a frozen salmon patty, but it was good for what it was. My my uh, fish and chips was actually great. Um, I thought it was good. There's a, a couple other places I would put in contendership with it in like, Seattle. Maybe the lock spot. Oh, which is we this. haven't been there in a long time. We should go there. Yeah, we should. Yeah. So um, since we're in Fremont, we're gonna do a little bonus thing, and we're gonna go over to the Fremont Troll. And uh, yeah, we'll check in with you guys over there. All right, we're here at the Fremont Troll. It's under the 99 Bridge. On Troll Avenue. Uh, and we are going to go over and say hello to the big fellow. It is both raining and snowing right now. And it's windy. And it's windy. So, all right, let's do this. There you go, Troll Avenue North and North 36th Street. And there he is, the man, the myth, the troll. So Krista, have you heard the urban myth about one of the creators being buried in the Volkswagen? I don't think I have heard that. Yeah, it's an urban myth that um, one of the original artists for the troll yeah. um, 
died from cancer or whatever and that they put his body inside the Volkswagen. I kind of doubt that's true, but it's a cool story. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> so, you want to pick his nose? <laughs> so, um, when was the last time you came to the Troll? I, I think I've only been here once. We did a photo scavenger hunt in Fremont. Uh -huh. And so we had to go to different destinations in this area and pose and take pictures. And this was one of them. What was your but pose? I think that's the only time I've been like up close. I don't know, something like that, ah, you know, something. Like, right, do it again! Ah. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna head out because um, it's really cold. It is really cold. And um, maybe get a shot looking that way though, because it's kind of cool to see the bridge. Oh, yeah. There you go. You guys go. It goes all the way down to the water. All right. So, Krista. Welcome home. Welcome home, where it's warm. Yay. And uh, it's still snowing outside. It's 35 degrees. It's so cold. It's the beginning of November. <laughs> it's gonna be a cold winter. It's gonna be so no! much snow! Yay! Uh, We're so similar. <laughs> so, uh, I had some amazing fish and chips. Mm -hmm. uh, and technically, I didn't have the chips. I had tater tots. And tots. But, and tots but they were really good. Really crispy. They're really crispy. They were very comforting. What did you think of the ambiance? Is it what you expected? Yeah, it's a dive bar. Yeah. Pacific Inn Pub, totally a dive bar. I thought that it would be more crowded because it's a Seahawks game day and it's a great like hole in the wall neighborhood kind of spot, but there it wasn't even half full. No, it was empty it was when pretty we left. Empty. Like there was one other there was customer. two other people, yeah. Well, there was one other customer and the owner. Oh, was that who that was? Yes. Oh, I thought it was just a guy. <laughs> no, 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 no. So there was a guy in there who was like, hey, can I change this? And the lady was like, ask him. He's the boss. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I that because I was in the bathroom when that happened. Yeah. Interesting. So, um, yeah, it was just the owner, the bartender lady, who was really nice. And, yeah, she was great. And, yeah. But overall, I really enjoyed my food. I thought it was pretty tasty. Um, I do want to kind of compare it against some other fish and chips places okay. in Seattle. Okay, uh, but enough. it's definitely in my top five at the moment. Yeah. So, uh, out of... Mm, how would, trying to think of a rating system? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, how would you, let's say, dive bars? How would, dive bars or chips? I would give it, like, like for what it, because you have to go in expecting that it's going to be a dive bar, right? Right. And for what it is, I would give it, like, four out of five fish sticks. Four out of five fish sticks? Yeah. I thought we did out of ten. Oh, you, I thought you said out of five. Oh, no. no. Okay, well, if it's out of ten, then uh, eight. Eight, eight out of ten fish sticks. Yes. Yeah. Um, I give it eight out of ten fish sticks. For sure. Yeah. Just go in expecting a dive, and it's a great it's a great dive. And I, I had low expectations because one of the things that I worry about when going into a dive bar is getting side eye from all of the regulars and being like the only person there who like has never been there before, and everyone being like, "Who's this intruder? Who's this new person?" So I was mm -hmm. worried that I was going to sort of feel that kind of social discomfort that sometimes happens uh, at those kinds of places and it wasn't like that at all. Nah, and probably because um, it was really uh, slow. It was slow and, and we sat at the bar and we there's three TVs with the football games on and it felt, it felt really comfortable. The mm -hmm. other thing about dive bars is sometimes they just kind of don't smell very good. Um, this one smelled Or fine. they just feel kind of grimy and it felt grimy but not in like a... Good kind of grimy. Not in a gross way. It's a good kind as of grimy. As, as long as you're expecting Man, it to be. I <laughs> love dive bars. And dive bars in Seattle are becoming less and less there. They're just being closed down or being pushed out of neighborhoods. Do you have a rent. favorite? Yes. What's your favorite? Hattie's Hat. Oh, yeah. We haven't we have been there like once together. I know. I know. I've been there more times than... You have. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I know you. And in recent that place. history. I've only been there once. But yeah, we should do, we should do like 
the the dive bars of Seattle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you about what about the troll? We did not stay that long at the troll. It was really cold, snowing. We wanted to get home. The troll's the troll. There's always tourists there, even when it's freaking cold and snowing. Mm-hmm. Um, ten out of ten trolls for the troll. That's I mean, it's the only troll. It's the it's it yeah. It doesn't really change. It just is what it is. Yeah. There's no like. I would say that the troll itself is always ten out of ten trolls. But I'll say our visit today was like six out of ten trolls, due to the weather. But it wasn't so crowded that we had to like wait in line to take a picture or something. No. So that's a positive. Yeah. For a troll visit. Well, I think that's about wraps it up. Thank you for joining us today on the Seattle Light of Love. And yeah, we're still figuring out this whole like signing out thing. So we have to come up with a tagline, preferably something that rhymes. Like we're out of time. That's a right. <laughs> Thank you for enjoying this video. Please feel free to join us on one of our many other adventures.